friends. Today, we are going to be thinking a little bit more about word parts. Remember when we looked at the AT word part like this, and we came up with a lot of words like cat and mat and sat and bat and pat, all words that have the at word part. Well, today we're gonna do that with a different word part. Ready? This word part is an. It's also a sight word, an. An is a word all by itself, but we can also see the an word part in other words. For example, an is the last part of the word man. See that word man? The ending part is an. Let's make a list over here of our an words. We made man. Now, what happens if I change the first sound, but keep the and part the same? Now, what word is it? K and. Can. I'll add it to our list. We made man and can. Those words both have the and word part at the end. They also rhyme, man, can. We kept the ending part the same, but we changed the first letter. When we change the first letter, that changes the first sound and makes it a different word. Let's change the first letter again. Ready? Now what word is it? And. Fan. See how we changed the first sound to make it a different word? Man, can, fan. Let's do it again. Ready? Now what word is it? I took away the beginning sound and added p. Now it's pan. I'll add it to our list. We have man, can, fan, pan. They all rhyme because they all have the same ending word part. But the beginning sound changes. Man, can, fan, pan. Let's look at another one. Now what word is it? That's right, ran. We change the first sound to an R, which makes the er sound. Ran. Let's do one more. Ready? Now what word is it? That's right, now it's t an, tan. Look at all these and words we made. Man, can, fan, pan, ran, tan. They all rhyme. The ending part stays the same. And see how it's the same letters? And those letters make the same sound. But the beginning sound, the beginning letter changes. Which changes the word? Can you think of some more and words? Thanks for learning with me.